The pneumonia shot does not protect against pneumonia. In fact, it's very poorly named, and I'll tell you how it even got its name in the first place. My name is Dr. Cheng Ron at the Texas Center for Lifestyle Medicine. Today I'm going to talk about the pneumonia shot. Um, so let's, let's rename what this really is. This is called a pneumococcal vaccine. And so the, the, the vaccine protects against an organism called Streptococcus pneumonia. And so that's how it's got its name, the, the pneumonia shot. But in reality, pneumonia is actually a lung infection. And that lung infection, most common causes are actually not uh, Streptococcus pneumonia. They're actually viral. And so the pneumonia shot does not protect against the most common causes of pneumonia, which are viral infections, but it can protect against bacterial pneumonia that's caused by Streptococcus pneumonia. So, and there's different strains of the Streptococcus pneumonia uh, bacteria. And so there's actually two types of vaccines that are for Streptococcus pneumonia. So one is called Prevnar 13, and the other one is called Pneumovax 23. And so the number um, 13 and Prevnar 13 and the 23 and Pneumovax 23 is actually the number of strains that actually covers um, within the Streptococcus uh, pneumonia species. And so um, they're both a little bit different, but the first I want to kind of address the controversy behind vaccines for a second. The main causes of most vaccine controversy is an ingredient that's a preserve called thimerosal. So thimerosal are actually in a lot of vaccines, but it's not in um, either the Prevnar 13 or the Pneumovax 23 because it does not require thimerosal uh, because they come in what's called single dose vials. And so, um, and so once we get that out of the way, uh, is the pneumonia shot effective? Once again, it's effective at uh, protecting against streptococcus pneumonia, but not the disease of pneumonia. So let's talk about what exactly is streptococcus pneumonia. So it's bacteria, and this bacteria can cause pneumonia, but it can also cause meningitis, and it could be absolutely deadly for people who have compromised immune systems. And so who should be getting which vaccine? Who should be getting the Prevnar 13? Who should be getting the Pneumovax 23? Well, if you look at uh, the guidelines, the CDC guidelines, um, it's actually very well laid out. So let's start with the easy one, which is Pneumovax 23. So Pneumovax 23 should be given at um, 65 and older, according to the CDC, in the general population. However, uh, the, the Prevnar 13 can also be given at that time, but not at the same time. They must be separated by a year or more apart. And so if someone were to come in the office and, and want to get pneumonia shot and want to get both, we would generally start with one and then the other a, a year apart. Um, and so what about uh, the people who are at higher risk? So those people who have immune deficiencies and who have maybe uh, implants um, that uh, create immune deficiencies like cochlear implants, and those people who are higher risk like chronic liver disease, and uh, people who drink chronic alcohol with alcoholic liver disease and who have chronic smoking. Um, these people can actually get the pneumonia shot much earlier than 65. And in fact, we uh, tend to do it if someone comes into the hospital and they're being admitted for severe lung disease, they end up on a ventilator. Um, we may elect to do a pneumonia shot uh, before they actually leave the hospital because the chances of them um, dying from streptococcus pneumonia if they were to get a pneumonia um, either again or later on is astronomically high. It's, it's a very high statistics and almost scary high statistics. And so, and I've seen it happen uh, personally. And so um, I do promote getting the pneumonia shot. Once again, um, neither of the pneumonia vaccines have thimerosal. It's actually available on the CDC website if you want to take a look at what actually is uh, within them. Uh, and for those people who are in the general population without risk factors, 65 and older, may choose to get both but cannot be given at the same time. has to be a year apart or more at least. Um, and so 
Uh, it's really up to you to talk to your doctors about what you should do about the pneumonia vaccine. And this is something that we generally cover in the annual wellness visit uh, or in the Medicare annual wellness visit as well. Thank you very much.